So how to make hundred dollars a day trading crypto. Welcome back to the channel guys. You guys really enjoy these videos. You enjoyed the stock version of this. So let's get into another strategy video, right? Now, when we're reading momentum, something very important to note is that everything builds up from the lower time frames, right? Eventually we do get a red tag. For example, down here, this is a red tag. This is extreme bearish selling momentum. So when we pull back to the EMAs, we look for shorting opportunities and that's going quite well. But you can see we've been in a downtrend much before that. What we pay much more attention to is the lower time frame bias bar and you can see the lower time frame bias bar switched from a green to a red bias in on eight in april right and this breakdown back here now if you're reading a chart without momentum you could try to you know trade a breakdown and you could try to come up with some sort of way to take trades but it's much more clearly when we can clearly see and read the momentum right so we have the lower time frame red tag right there we also have the jupiter ema right now it's a 21 ema and it switches in terms of the lower time frame bias as well so on this breakdown we had a fresh red tag right so this is a precursor to the oncoming higher time frame red tag which is the time frame we're looking at the daily time frame right now if you're wondering what my settings are the lower time frame setting is 480 it's actually eight hour so on a daily we're looking at eight hour for the lower time frame same thing for the jupiter orbit 480 480 right and so three candles go into one day so this is uh so we get less false signals so how do we trade this sort of thing well what we look for in trading is an impulsive move that makes higher highs or higher lows with a fresh tag for example when we're bullish you're stuck in in this range right here right you're stuck in this range you're you're making lower lows and lower highs what you want is this impulsive move with fresh green tags or fresh lower time frame green tags right you get the emas in order and then you bull flag and then you get a green momentum candle with the dot you know these are your entries right so it's the same thing when, when we're looking to short right we get an impulsive move downwards a strong move downwards that makes lower lows and on that move we get a fresh red tag right we get increasing volume okay so what you're going to do here um a, a strategy we're going to talk about today is you're going to grab your fibonacci tool and you're going to draw a fib from swing high to swing low right swing high the highest point the highest high before this breakdown happened to swing low the lowest point before we started retracing and so what you're going to look for is a shallow retracement right if you want to trade with the trend you don't want the bulls to be able to get to a 618 fib or 786 that means the bulls have a lot of strength if you're looking too short you want weak bulls right you want a lack of buyers so you want a shallow retracement so that's why we only have the 382 and the 50. if we get much if we get past the 50 if we start to close above the 50 percent retracement right the buyers are able to, to recover more than half the move what's well, not a strong move to the downside so you don't really want to be trading with the sellers you don't want to be on the side of the sellers however when we see a strong move with volume and a red tag that's momentum to the downside and it could only recover 382 the most shallow retracement that means the sellers are quite strong it's quite evident that the sellers have control of price so that's what we're interested in right so you let price touch the 382 and then you look for shorting opportunities right so you can see right here you know touch the 82 inside bar nothing yet green bar okay nothing yet you know at that point you say let me wait to see if something happens on the 50 um percent fib or on the ema right there or if we still hold and we did still hold right we put in this evening star candlestick pattern right here on the 382 to close back below the 382 to close back below the the short-term moving average right here that light gray line um and by the way this red moving average it's the, the jma is 21 and the yellow is the 55 day moving average okay or ema so that's your entry opportunity right and so you can take an entry after that close you have maybe a 10 percent stop above that candle you can be you know another rule you can use that i like a lot is if you're if you're trading at the 382 your stops are above the 50. if you're trading at the 50 your stops are above the 618 fibonacci right the next fibonacci level that's something you can use and what i like to do is i equate the 382 fib or in other words the shallow retracement the 382 I equate it with the 21 moving average and I equate the move the 50 Fibonacci to the 55 EMA right so you know your stop can be above the next level so it can be above the 50 or above the 55 EMA or the 50 fib right so that's something you can do and you can see you had 10 percent stops and you could have held this thing all the way through right you could be up 62 percent right now 
or you just take it as a trade and, and you take profits, whatever your system is, right? You had multiple opportunities, right? You had another double top into here, boom. And of course, we're not gonna get into the shade flips today. We're just taking entry candles, candlestick patterns. Um, but of course, there's no shade on because it's a daily time frame. But as you guys know, if you watch the masterclass, you can go one time frame lower. So you can go to that four hour time frame. And if you look on the four hour time frame, of course, double red shades. Red shades are overbought conditions. So, you know, double red shades with divergence. That's the kind of entries you're looking for. Or over here, you have a red shade flip. That's the kind of entry you can take as well. Um, on my dark charts, I don't show the shade flips, but you can see right there, the red shade flip candle. Right, when you're looking for shorts, you're looking for red candles. You're not interested in the green candles because the bias bar is red. You're only interested in the green shade flip candles when the bias is up, when you're, when you're in longs, when your momentum is bullish. Right, so go back, going back to where we were to the daily time frame. Okay, so that's one trade. Now, where's the next one, right? Where is the next one? We can see, and, and you always gotta read the momentum dots as well. Within here, the bulls tried to get some power with light green dots taking over from the red dot environment. But then on this move, light pink dots, so you know, it's not heavy. Light pink dots is light selling momentum and red dot is heavy selling momentum. Light green dot is light buying momentum and that dark green dot is heavy buying momentum. So we went back to a selling environment. Okay, but where's the next move? Well, you look, look, where do you see it, right? Well, of course, this is a breakdown, so a fresh lower low. We said we look for lower lows with fresh tags. The tag didn't come until here, right? So it's not here, it's not here. Here, fresh red tag on the lower time frame. You can see it down here as well on the Jupiter pendulum, a fresh lower time frame red tag on lower lows, an impulsive move downwards. So again, we can look for a short entry on the pullback. So you start pulling back, okay, let me get my fib. Where was the highest point of this move? Where was the lowest point of this move? You draw your fib like so, right there. And what you see is that, okay, we're moving up, we're moving up. We're at the first EMA, nothing's happening, no engulfing, no pattern, no red shade, no nothing. Come up to the 382, same thing, no nothing. Okay, and now our, our, our EMAs are actually crossing over bullishly. You can see the short term's crossing over the 21, right? The, the, the seven or eight is crossing over the 21. We don't have an entry anyways, because this candle wicked back up, so it's not a bearish engulfing, there's no evening star, there's no inverse hammer, there's no red pendulum shade flip, nothing, right? We continue, so okay, we wait, green, green, green. Okay, now we're at the second level. We're at the 50% FIB and the 55 EMA. Again, the deepest we're willing to go. We want to trade with strength. If the bulls can recover more than half of the move, they're too strong, it's too risky, um, okay? And so you can see we get to the 50, a bit of a shakeout above, but then we put in this evening star. Now this evening star was actually a daily red shade flip. So that's an excellent shorting opportunity, right? You, again, you can't see it on my Neptune charts because the way I have the candles colored, look, daily red shade flip candle, evening star. Red shade flip is when the red shade overbought conditions turns off and the pendulum bar flips from green to red. So it's a shade off combined with a pendulum flip. Right? So red shade flip, evening star, right at our key level. That's exactly what we want to see. And again, you can enter right there. You can put your stop above the candle. At that point in time, seven, eight percent stops and you're up 47%, right? So you're up eight, eight times your risk. The other one was another eight, 10 times your risk, right? These are excellent trading opportunities when you're trading on the side of the momentum. Now, a super interesting thing just happened here. What happened again? Well, what's the most recent low? We broke again, lower lows. So a breakdown of lower lows. And this time we actually got a high time frame red tag. So again, there's trades before that even happens, but this is another opportunity. It means the daily time frame has tagged red. The bias is bearish. So again, you draw your fit from swing high to swing low. Okay, let me just get it out of the way right there. And again, you can see we're waiting for a trade. So boom, we're making our way up. Okay, we touched 382, nothing yet though. Come back, green candle, nothing, green candle, nothing. Okay, um, you know, this red is an engulfing. You could take that. I probably wouldn't take this first red. It's an engulfing, but look, we, we changed to a, bull, a light green dot environment. So I'd probably wait for something better, especially since there was still a green pendulum bar on this red candle, right? We didn't, um, you know, flip to a red pendulum bar. We didn't uh, close below neither the 21 nor the 8 EMA. So it still worked out. 
but I would have waited. Um, but I would have taken the second candle, right? Because when you complete this breakdown candle right here, now you have a red pendulum bar. There's volume on it above average. It's an evening star pattern and it closes below the EMAs, right? So at that point in time, it's not as attractive risk reward trade, but it's a more certain trade you wait for confirmation, right? So again, eight percent risk, 16, you're up two times your risk at this moment in time. And you can see, um, you know, what's gonna happen. This thing's very weak. It's at its lows right here. It's at yearly or all time lows. Who knows where this thing is? Almost all time lows for Alluvium right here, right? And so the key to all of this is reading the momentum, reading the bias, right? We go to a chart like Bitcoin here. Um, this same time when Alluvium broke down, Bitcoin came down and got a lower time frame red tag, right? Let's say you even try to trade this. Well, what happens on the way up? This thing just blasts through the moving average, gets a lower time frame green tag, gets green momentum, and it's just chopping around, right? Lower time frame red tag. Okay, we're waiting for the pullback. You know, again, you, you can draw your things, right? When you're, you know, you're just green candling through them, so there's no trade. And then boom, lower time frame green tag. So the bull's got enough momentum to tag green on the lower time frame. There's too much buying momentum there. And you can also tell that because you're blasting through the EMAs. You're not giving sell setups. You're retracing too deep. That's almost 100% retracement of the move, right? And so it's, it's red again, but it's just chopping about. It's red again, but even if we draw a fib on this latest move, it's it's way past the 50 right it's a strong move it didn't tag green but it's a strong move it's past the 50 percent fib past the 618 fib and it's past the 55 ema i wouldn't be shorting something like this and if you tried you'd be getting chopped up i mean obviously it's just a thing that's trending sideways it's a crab walk and it's chopping up um you want something where on the way up you don't retrace deeply you don't retrace above the moving averages you don't retrace more than 50 percent of the move in terms of fibonacci you don't tag green there's not there's a lack of buying momentum that's what you want to short and so you have to read the momentum right we talked about a uh, render or sorry we talked about fat is, is one to just tag green so that looks good go check out the fetch ai video from two days ago look at something like rune i mean it still was in a downtrend like alluvium it worked so yeah maybe you could have gotten a short here but look how much more rune traded above the 55 day moving average you would probably have gotten stopped out here right so you can try to do the same thing and, and you had an early warning why because the lower time frame tag green something alluvium didn't do right if you go back to iov you can see at that same moment in time it was tagged red and never got it never got above the 55 day moving average it never made higher highs it never tagged green so they were easy setups because you were trading weakness when you're looking for shorts in the same way you should trade strength when you're looking for longs Okay, so Rune, if we try to do the same exercise here, right? Oh, okay, we tagged red and this is what we look for, right? We look for fresh red tags. So let's look for shorts on the way back up. Um, we're not interested in, in anything below the 382, right? We need to retrace a decent amount for risk reward. So well, when we finally touch the 382, well, by the time we finally touch the 382, we've already lowered time frame green tagged. We have a strong pendulum, we have increasing volume. And so, hey, you try to trade that, look, you got stopped out, right? Um, so it was much harder to trade even though they'd eventually go down. All right, guys, I hope you learned something today. Um, something coming this week is the Jupiter study where we will be able to, um, you know, I'll go over it, but you can see, for example, whatever the default strategy is here, I don't, I don't even know what it is because there's so many possibilities. Um, you know, 60% of the trades are profitable with uh, Thorchain. The max drawdown is 23%, which is fantastic. And the average trade gives you 30%. And the Jupiter study is going to be able to explore all these Jupiter strategies. You can set your lower time frame, time frame for your Momo dots, your bias bar. You can require green tags. You can require lower time frame green tags. You can require Momo dots for entries. You can take shade flips or pendulum flips or shade offs or Momo candles or French team entries. You can take any of the take profit conditions. You can set your stop loss wherever. We change it from 5% stop to a 10% stop and look at the data. It's going to change. Now it's a 271% um, you made on your money in this specific strategy with these rules. You can allow for short positions. There was no short positions. You can um, you can add an EMA that you have to close above, etc. We'll go over that um, in, in the next video, but it's very exciting. You can now algorithmically back test um, whatever strategies using the Jupiter ecosystem, right? The Jupiter orbit and the Jupiter pendulum, right? Whatever you can dream up, there's over a thousand combinations here. You can set everything and, and do your research. Nobody else put out an indicator that's both algorithmically back tested and proven, like I did. Um, you know, and you can, and, and no one else put out the actual 
um, study or the strategy indicator to go test that for yourselves. I'm releasing that this week so you guys can create your own strategies with it. Whatever time frame you feel comfortable, you can test all the time frames, any asset you want, um, any conditions you want, and create your own strategy that fits your personality to trade within the Jupiter ecosystem, trading momentum or pullbacks or shade flips or reversals, whatever you want. Um, and it's pretty much create your retirement strategy, right? Create your trading environments. So stay tuned for that, guys. Much love. Peace.